Hey y'all, it's Val with Our Forever Farm. So the video you're fixing to see, we were at my daughter and son-in-law's house and he was doing a low country bull. I have never done that. I've never even eat it. So it was fun. The pool was covered. They've got it winterized, but the whole family was there. And, well, most of them. So, uh, I wanted to share this moment with you, these few moments with you. It's a short video, and our granddaughter, Alyssa, she videoed it for me. So, I hope y'all enjoy it. Good afternoon, everybody. We are going to uh, do a low country bull today. We've got a lot of the family coming over tonight just to uh, enjoy uh, some good cooking and some, hopefully it's good cooking. We'll find out in a little while. But just a good low country bull with uh, shrimp and uh, uh, Italian sausage, and we'll have some potatoes and corn and onions and garlic, and of course you can't forget the Old Bay seasoning that goes in it. I've got my water coming to a bowl right now. It is uh, starting to bubble just a little bit. We're going to wait and uh, let this come to a bowl, and then we'll put in some eight te teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning uh, and let it start boiling with the water to, uh, to get everything uh, flavored up just right. to uh, come to a bowl. It's just simmering just a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and put a concoction of, uh, we've got onions and garlic and uh, some lemons in here with it to go ahead and start flavoring the water, seasoning the water up, and uh, let it come to a bowl as well. and garlic. Okay, we are coming to a good bowl now. If you can take a look in here, you can see that it's boiling uh, really good. I'm going to back it down to just a small bowl now instead of a full bowl, a simmer. And we are going to put our red potatoes in and because they take a little longer to cook. So we're gonna put them in for about 15 minutes, let them cook, and we're gonna put our uh, Italian sausage in as well. They, you can use new potatoes, red potatoes, uh, big or small. We use the big ones this time and cut them up uh, in force. So be careful pouring them in though. There's the potatoes in. our sausage. Yeah. Let it come back to a bowl for about 15 minutes. Bowl for about 15 minutes. Okay. We put our Italian sausage in. We've got uh, all of our, um, our uh, potatoes in. And now we're going to put the corn in. Uh, I got about 15 ears of corn. We're gonna go ahead and put those in, let those be cooking. Let that go for about five minutes and then we will add the uh, shrimp in last. So this was a couple of days before Halloween and little Huddy wanted to show y'all his costume. Okay guys, we are almost done. Uh, we have everything is in the pot boiling very nicely. I'm gonna add some uh, large shrimp a lot of large shrimp. I've already peeled them and they are ready to go in. Uh, they say that if you uh, leave them, if you don't peel them, that a lot of times the peel will come off in the water. So I prefer, to, I want to have peeled them before uh, I'm cooking. So I'm going to put these in for about six minutes and we will be ready to go.
prep should be done now, and uh, we're ready to eat. So we'll give it one last stir, and then we're going to pour, uh, pour our water and dump it on the table on some uh, newspapers. Uh, that's usually what you do, just dump it on a uh, pile of newspapers on the picnic table, and uh, everybody dig in. So we'll give you a picture of the uh, of, you know, the final product here in just a moment. Alrighty, we are done, and uh, we're going to pour it out here on the table, and everybody's going to be ready to eat. Uh, thank y'all for watching, and uh, hey, y'all go cook something. So that was delicious. That meal was absolutely delicious. I know that had to be hard work, the prepping for it. And uh, we really appreciate Brian, our son in love. He's got several names. We call him Uncle B, we call him Daddy B, <laughs> whatever he is that day. But he loves to cook outside, he's good at it. We're proud of him and we get to reap the benefits. So as he said, y'all go cook something.